Hey traders, this is Jeff with ZenTrader.ca with a market update and the theme for this video is going to be stay bullish. Uh, let me explain. We did have some uh, overbought readings on Friday but this market is, is digesting it like a champ. You can see here we got bullish here on the 11th and we've got about 75 points on this timing signal and this is just looks like another bull flag setting up beautiful RSI action um, you know uh, uh, when, when you have <clears throat> the home builders and the financials and more specifically the investment banks behaving like they are and I've talked at length at both of those sectors on my blog um, it, it's really difficult for the market not to go up uh, I'm going to go through some charts here and about the only argument that the bears can make right now is that we're overbought but in reality we're really not that overbought and not anymore and when you've got the Fed injecting money into the markets you know don't fight the Fed I just I don't buy the argument that just that, that we're at you know high levels this has a reason to get short for number one let me show you this chart this is the NASDAQ high low index and you can see the actual let me just the, this is the index this is uh, this area this is the NASDAQ so here you had this area the, the, the actual indicator hitting highs for 2012 and here's the market and what did it do did it did the NASDAQ go down here no it didn't it kept going higher while some negative divergence formed you've got the indicator here hitting highs so it's really hard to just to short a top I mean it's it's hard for a reason just like it's hard to buy a bottom therefore before a top forms and it takes time to form it doesn't just go up here pop and then and then go down so you're gonna see this go uh, sideways probably up even more while this indicator forms some kind of negative divergence so keep your eye on this chart um, uh, here's what I wanted to show you on this. See how volume was increasing as the market was going up and, and how yesterday was really low and today was a little bit higher, but it's still low relative to that uh, market rally. That's what you want to see. Uh, you know, I don't know why I had this chart on here other than the fact that this is just a, a bullish looking chart, so I'm running out of time already. The three line chart on the NASDAQ, it, it's showing no red candle therefore stay long continue to buy stocks uh, long look for market leaders uh, because this is very sensitive to short-term moves so as long as as long as this is a, a white candle the markets gonna continue higher the VIX is the big culprit that's the easy thing to say well the VIX is low <coughs> but it's not <coughs> sorry it's not low uh, what I did with this is I removed the VIX this is the 10 day EMA and you can see here back in 06 and 07 it was much lower it was it was down here in this really low volatility that I deemed so right now we're we're we're, we're getting there but we're not there and and more importantly it can remain there for months so don't the VIX is a secondary indicator it will and always will remain a secondary indicator uh, except when you have extremes like like that's an extreme but but where we're at right now in my opinion is not an extreme uh, the S&P this is just looking like you know it's forming base and bit like these are small bases uh, I just I see nothing I see a, a bull flag here I, I don't see any reason why somebody would be shorting this again volume uh, yeah this is this is nice action and then I also wanted to draw your attention to corn uh, this has just been an amazing run this is an interesting case study to watch and I think this could be setting up for some kind of buying opportunity somewhere down here around 46 46 and a half might be an area to take a stab if this is a commodity that you're watching uh, I'll probably pick up a few shares the R as long as this RSI stays above 30 uh, I think this is gonna bounce back relatively quickly like there was a reason why corn went up this far I don't think it's just going to turn around and go all the way back down. I think it's going to come down, find some support down here. So keep your eye on this chart.